Hey guys, welcome back. I have a little box here to open. Yep, so super excited about it. I held up ordering this since um, January. The vendor's website said that they were not shipping because of the weather. So I'm getting out of my comfort zone of growing hybrids from Lowe's. Well, the theme of this haul is species. I've been bitten by the species orchid uh, bug. Honestly, I realized that it takes forever for these little orchids to get to blooming size. So if I get um, start growing now in three to five years, I will have enough time to do research and hopefully not kill any of these species and get it to bloom. The other way I see this is I'm getting a running start. Um, I've been looking into uh, different orchids to grow. I also um, am interested in smaller orchids. So I looked into Orangus since I like the one that I got from Carmilla in the William Youngblood special that I got a while back. Um, I also really wanted to try the genius um, and grape gum because I'm so fascinated by the flower structure and love the thick waxy white texture of it. I'm going to try um, orchids by Hausman from Illinois and of course since um, delivery is so much you throw in a few other orchids to try. I ordered it on March 29th uh, which was a Tuesday and didn't get an email confirmation that the order was received so I waited and waited and still nothing from email all week um, so I thought maybe I'll get a shipping notice by now, um, but nothing. It was Saturday that I decided to call. They said they did not ship the week I ordered because they didn't want the orchid to sit and wait for the weekend. So they decided to wait next week to ship. Um, it's a two day shipping from Illinois to here. Um, they ended up shipping um, April 4 and got here April 6. All right, without further ado, let's get cracking. Um, as I show you the unwrapping, I am going to tell you some research I found, um, most of which are from Hauserman's website. It's a couple of pieces of paper from the box. Let's see what the uh, these are. Looks like my order was um, packaged by Karen. And the other paper is, uh, looks like it's a general care information sheet. That's helpful. Um, let's open the biggest one first so that we can make some room. I couldn't decide whether I should occupy airtime by telling you about the orchid as I opened it or will it spoil the anticipation and suspense. So I decided to wait till you can actually see the orchid to tell you what it is. I remember the thrill of unwrapping so I won't spoil it for you. Oh, what a different structure. Um, it's fan-shaped. I've never grown anything like this before. It's nice to try something new. The leaves are really thick, so they must be storing a lot of water. This is Angracum leonis, uh, blooming size, but no signs of spent bloom spike. Um, on their website, it's um, showing that they're offering a 3.5 inch pot and a five inch pot, and both of them are blooming size generally blooms twice a year uh, and the flowers are about 2.5 inches wide and about four inch uh, long spur and it's from madagascar and it's got a night fragrance there's another piece of paper here um, it's about oh a note about mounts all right let's try opening the smallest one now the tag on this one says it's Tuberolabium cotoense. And on their website, it says it should be mounted on a cedar shingle about two years from blooming size, winter bloomer. And it's from Taiwan and it's fragrant. Uh, oy, that doesn't look too good. It looks dehydrated and the leaves look shriveled. But the roots um, look like they're viable, so I'll soak it and see what happens. 
And uh, here's a couple of pictures from the website of what the blooms uh, should look like. Um, it's sort of troubling to me on one of this picture right here. The leaves look more upright and erect. So I'm wondering, do I have the right plant? Glad they didn't mount this one um, because I'm, it just saves me time and trouble from prying the orchid off the mount because I planted potted in a light layer of moss. I can't keep up with watering such a tiny orchid on a mount. Let me try um, another small one, opening another small one, because I think I know what this might be. Um, I'm ordering with a friend and he ordered um, a Kotowens as well. So this might be um, the other one. Let's see what condition it's in though. Oh, that's much better. It looks less dehydrated. There's a bit of lighter green patch coloring pattern on one of the leaves and I don't know if that's normal. Okay, this next one, the name is just so cool. Neophenicia falcata. It sounds like an exotic Egyptian goddess. Let me read to you what it says on their website. Um, blooming size, flowers are about three quarter inch wide, two inch tall with a lower sword. Um, can bloom two to three times a year, mainly in the spring. Uh, it stays relatively small, fragrant in the evening. Beautiful white flower with cool lower spire or samurai sword, sometimes called the wind orchid or samurai orchid. Ah, nice. There are two old bloom spikes here. This is great. Another nice thing about this orchid is you see the roots are wrapped around the pots. It shows that it's been established in that pot for a while, so it's not something they just threw together last minute. Okay, next one looks like it's a mount. Let's see. You know, I was a bit surprised when I saw on the uh, tracking detail of this shipping um, the package weighs only three pounds. This one is um, an Orangus, Orangus modesta, mounted on a cedar shingle. A uh, young plant about two to three years from blooming size, spring or summer bloomer, one inch white flowers that generally hang downward, minty fragrance. Um, it looks a bit flattened, but the leaves look healthy. Boy, this one is real tiny. So I need to soak this one and remove it from the mount um, to pot it in very loose sphagnum moss. Um, my friend also ordered another one of this, so we should have a second one here somewhere. Let's see if we can pick it out. This must be it. This one looks flattened too, but the leaves and the roots look fine for now. This next one is Cattleya walkeriana, variety Alba, pendentive. Um, it's white, three years from blooming size. Blooms in spring, flowers are about three inches wide. It's fragrant. This is a compact grower. Pendentive means um, concave shaped uh, dome structures. It looks really nice and healthy. However, I'm kind of questioning whether three years is going to be long enough before it reaches blooming size. I think sometimes these vendors are a bit uh, too optimistic. Um, I've seen a full size Walkeriana and it's fairly large before it gets blooming size. So, but uh, we will see. All right, let's get to the next one. Oh, wow, this is really tiny for a Digbiana. On the website, there isn't a picture of um, this a small sample of plant in a two inch pot. Instead, they have a full size um, adult plant uh, with the bloom on it. Um, so it's a bit of a shocker to see the size um, that you actually get. The item description on the website says it's three to four years from blooming size. Uh, I don't see that as a possibility. I might be wrong, um, but I'm thinking more of six to seven years. 
If you have experience growing digbiana from this small size to a blooming size, please let me know what you think uh, as far as timeline is.、Um, leave a comment on the、um, bottom. Thanks. I have one、um, that I have been growing for the last three years, and I'm getting a new one because something is wrong with my old one. It hasn't grown in a while and has so many signs of stress. Let me go get it and show it to you. I'm not sure what is wrong with mine right now.、Um, I see that there's, you know, some、uh, leaf、um, from sunburn or too much light.、Um, other than that, I, I can't tell. But I mean, most of the plant is not burnt, of course. Just one particular leaf right here, and maybe another. Mine has stopped growing for about half a year now. I may check on the roots with an unpotting.、Um, let's put them together and see the size difference, though. When I got my first digbiana about three years ago,、um, the smallest leaf, as you can see,、um, is about three and a half inch tall, and that's about the size of the plant. And it's still not blooming size yet. Okay, let's look at the last orchid. Okay, this looks like a decent size. According to the American Orchid Society website, an adult size is about ten inch tall. So yeah, I can see that this gets to、uh, a blooming size in three years, and it says the bloom should be very fragrant. So some signs I see that worries me is that、um, there doesn't seem to be any roots visible sticking out of the medium, and、um, It seems a little bit overpotted. The media is pile, pile up high above the base of the orchid.、Um, hmm. The more I handle this pot, the more I feel that it's very loose.、Um, the media and the orchid seems very、um, unstable. Let's、uh, let's pull this out of the pot and see what's in it. Oh boy. Does not look good. Yikes! All the roots are rotten. So this will probably set the plant back a good year to、uh, regrow some roots. If、um, anyone has ordered from Hauserman lately,、um, please let me know what your experience has been like.、Um, I'm curious. Okay. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. I really enjoy opening this package、um, and、uh, seeing different orchids, especially miniature ones.、Um, and I can't wait to、uh, see them bloom one day. And I'll update you all, maybe um, um, at least、uh, once a year, on it to see how they grow.、Um, well, I'll see you in the next video.、Um, have a good day. Bye bye.